Okay, so we're told that Mark arranged the 15 scores of our students in order of size and selected the 8 score for reporting purposes. Which of the following statistical measures did Miss Clark obtain? So that will be because she arranged them in size, size, the order of size, in other words, ascending order. It could even be descending order as well. Then that would have been the the median. Okay? Because you don't need the mean. You don't need to arrange them in order to calculate the mean. You don't need them you don't need to arrange them in order. Although it probably would have be helpful, but not not necessary to, to get the, the mode. But for the median Arrangement order is the best way to identify the, the middle number. Alright, and the middle number, that's the median. Because if you have 15 numbers, um, the eighth number will be at the center. Because you have eight, eight, the eighth number, you'd have seven number on this side and seven numbers on the other side. Alright, so that's the median we're looking at. And the range is just the highest number minus the lowest number. So again, don't need that. This is um, a measure of dispersion. All right, so here we have a pie chart um, shows our student, our students use 12 hours in studying English, math, French, and geography. And the amount of time spent studying math is approximately, is it one, two, three, or four hours? Well, let's see. Since it's a pie chart, and we're talking about it's divided up, it's 12 hours basically, divided up into four parts. Um, not equal parts, by the way, as we can clearly see. But for the math, estimating this looks pretty much like um, a quarter, right? A quarter of the circle. This looks like um, these two lines are perpendicular, even though we're not told. It'd be nice if they did put up a perpendicular symbol there, um, though. But it looks very perpendicular. Um, so that's about a quarter, all right? So a quarter of 12 is three. Four goes into 12 three times. So I'll say three hours. And for somebody who doesn't understand, I meant like if you were to go this way and then go down that way, then you'd have another quarter here, another quarter here, and another quarter here. So in four equal parts, in other words. And that'll be um, three, six, nine and the next three twelve 